Welcome to Real Physics. Today I want to talk about a very fundamental question that is, are elementary particles circular light waves? And the one particle you th should think about is clearly the proton, because you have this famous coincidence. Well, actually, it's not that famous, but I have mentioned it several times. It's rather dismissed by contemporary physics, because the proton is the only particle for which technically the Compton wavelength corresponds to its own radius. So, but I would phrase this in yet another way. If you think about a proton and consider its size, it's measurable, it's the charge radius. So you just imagine a circular light wave on that circular orbit of the radius of the proton. And that could be indeed an elementary particle. The only problem is that there is a strange factor of four missing. That means that the proton is too big by a factor of four. So you would need four of these circulating light waves to get the mass of the proton at the very end. Well, actually, it's not the only problem. I mean, one would have to develop a really serious mathematical model free of contradictions. And the problem is, presumably, you can't naively apply the known electrodynamics because electrodynamics will become nonlinear at these very small scales and you don't know how to change electrodynamics. But certainly this coincidence points to something big. It's also equivalent, as I mentioned in this video, to Dirac's first hypothesis relating the size of the proton to the size of the universe. But this is much more intuitive and I think more of a guidance to a theory. So I can just encourage everyone to think about in this direction, even if it's, of course it's off mainstream, but some people have dealt with this. This is one paper. And there are other papers. Well, a word about why we should consider the proton, not the electron. Of course, the electron is also an elementary particle, but the electron must somehow be bigger because it's such a small mass, it doesn't fit because the smaller the light wave, the higher the frequency, the bigger the mass. So also for the electron, there have been some interesting attempts, one of them by Oliver Konzer. But I think the, we should start explaining the proton because it's also the question of mass that enters the game here. We must understand why we have this heavy particle. And of course, explaining it away with quarks and other excuses is nonsense in my view. It doesn't lead you anywhere except for a new bunch of th free parameters. So I can only encourage you. I myself have thought for a long time that it is kind of naive and a little bit it is, I admit, but not the way contemporary physicists would be dismissive of that idea, because it's a very fundamental unsolved problem. We have to understand the mass of the proton. And first of all, we have to understand why there is light and matter. That's the unification that is missing. The question is not so much about wave and particles. The real question is explain light and matter. And this is clearly something, an idea, how to possibly unify, how to possibly understand this. Nonetheless, it will be difficult to develop a full-fledged theory. But as I said, we shouldn't be dismissive of these coincidences. And I'm convinced one day this will be the explanation of the proton. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.